Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about the polar representation of a complex number. Okay, so I am trying here the coordinate axis x, x dash, y, y dash. Okay, so the let's say here is a complex number z point p. Okay. And this distance from the origin as we have discussed is mode z. Let in polar representation, let's say this is the radius which is r. Okay. And this angle is theta means the argument of the complex number. Okay. So the ordered pair r comma theta is known as the polar coordinates so how we will find out or how we will convert a complex number on argon plane to a polar representation so let's say the polar representation is like this this is r cos theta plus iota times sin theta r sin theta okay because if it is r and so this length will be r cos theta and this will be r sin theta so x is equals to r cos theta and y is equals to r sin theta so as z is equal to x plus iota times y so it is coming out to be r cos theta plus iota times sin theta r iota times sin theta okay so this is the polar representation of a complex number and the term theta is called as the argument of complex number okay so the principal argument of a complex number always lie between pi to minus pi so you need to measure the angle and then you will tell what is the argument of a complex number okay students now i hope that you are pretty clear about what is polar representation and how we represent uh, any complex number in polar rep representation form okay let's discuss one question based on this so student the question here is represent the complex number z in polar form so as we know the x part is r cos theta which is one here okay and the y part is r sin theta which is root 3 here okay and to find out the r can we square means r square cos square theta is equals 1 and r square sin square theta equal 3 so adding equation 1 and 2 we will get sin square theta plus cos square theta equals 4 so from here we are getting that r is equals to root 4 which can be either plus minus 2 but r is the radius so it is always positive means greater than 0 so now we will find out the value of r cos theta equal 1 so cos theta coming out to be 1 by 2 putting the value of r so cos theta is equals to half is theta is equals to 60 degree okay so that you can check on the uh, graph also means 1 and root 3 so it will lie something here and the angle which it is making is 60 degree so now you can fill it in the form of cos 60 degree plus iota sin 60 degree so this is the polar representation of a complex number student now i hope that it is pretty clear to you how to represent a complex number into its polar form okay and in the next lecture we will discuss about some quadratic equation based on complex numbers so stay tuned for some quadratic equation on complex numbers. Okay.
थैंक यू हैप्पी लर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स